Asian carp are very big, very ugly fish, but what is the best way to know that you've seen one? They're pretty much the only fish you'll see jumping clear out of local waters. Chris Amstutz owns White River Bait and Tackle in the small town of Williams. He says he's seen quite a few Asian carp over the past 15 years. Most fish just clear the water just enough to, uh, the whole fish usually doesn't even come plumb out of the water. But an Asian carp, he may be eight or 10 foot in the air when, he, when he's at his highest. That can be problematic for boaters, especially if the fish look like the 46 pound Asian carp Amstutz has mounted in his shop. Not all of the fish are as big as the one on Amstutz's wall, but researchers say many are still whoppers, often 10 to 15 pounds a piece. But injuries are not the only worry for officials. Asian carp eat at the bottom of the food chain their entire lives. This causes them to outcompete small native fish, leaving a shortage of food for larger fish. Purdue University aquatic ecology professor Ruben Goforth is in charge of a study to help understand Asian carp movement patterns, including implanting transmitters in 100 Asian carp in the Wabash River around Lafayette. Stationary receivers sit on the river bottom and keep track of which marked fish are in which areas. Boat crews also take manual receivers out almost every day. When the machine makes a sound, it means one of the hundred Asian carp is within about a football field's length away. But that's not the only Asian carp study Goforth is working on. He is also looking at ways to disrupt the early life cycle of the fish. We are putting eggs in uh, aquariums that have electrical fields and so we can create specific types of electrical fields to try to see if we can cause the eggs um, to cease their development or die and, and that's also true for the larvae. If both studies are successful, tracking the Asian carp movement patterns will help show where to place these electric fields. Even though carp research may be in the early stages, the Department of Natural Resources is worried that people will mistakenly introduce Asian carp to Lake Monroe. That would disrupt the ecosystem of the lake and allow them to continue to spread upstream through other tributaries. DNR fisheries biologist Dave Kataka says if the fish get into the lake, it'll be very difficult to get rid of them. Pretty much anything that gets in the reservoir is gonna stay there because there's no real management action that we can use on the lake. You know, it's the primary water supply for Bloomington, so a chemical eradication of a fish is out of the question. Um, you can't drain it and start over again because then Bloomington won't have any water. And, uh, you know, and it's just such a large resource. Uh, there's very little you can do other than prevent, educate and prevent people from moving them. There are also efforts to use the unwanted fish commercially. Purdue's Reuben Goforth says there are restaurants along the Mississippi River that serve Asian carp, only with a more appetizing name, Silverfin. He says that there is even a possibility of creating an export market for the fish. There also are efforts to uh, collect the carp here, flash freeze them, and then ship them to China, where there actually are a, a delicacy. Um, but ironically, the fish are becoming extremely um, endangered in, the, in their native ecosystems in China. Will local fishers listen to China and try them out? Chris Amstutz says he might. Oh, I, I would try one if I ever run out of catfish. I would, uh, I would try an Asian carp. They, they don't look like they're bad eating. I'd say, I'd say they ought to be pretty good eating. But do they really taste good? DNR biologist Kataka says they do. The fish that we caught last year, we actually flayed them out and ate them just to see you know, what the uh, table value of this fish was. Uh, and besides uh, that they have bones in weird places, um, they were actually pretty good. There are currently other studies in the works to try to find more uses for what Professor Goforth describes as an exceedingly ugly fish.